All right, do you guys want that uh, tutorial? Tutorial on short charging? All right, so let me uh, start this off by saying what I'm going to be teaching you is how to do this, except in a much shorter distance. So you can see speedrunners. Sometimes speedrunners, like, they'll get it in a crazy short distance, like from here to here. Uh, like I said, normally it's like one, two, three posts. It's about three posts that you can get it in currently. This is a really good practice spot, by the way, this area, uh, going to Torian. Uh, okay, so let me, let me start by telling you how short charging works in the first place. There are checks that the game does. When you run normally, there are four checks total. There are four of them. And then with, if all four of those are met and you're still holding run. Then you will get uh, your short charge or your your uh, your blue suit, which you can use to shine spark. Um, those checks are, let me turn, let me do this. As I was saying, those checks are during one certain frame. So you, you have to understand how this works first. Let me turn on something, it's called Magic Pants. And Magic Pants allows you to see what frame it is. Okay, so I'm gonna slow it down frame by frame so you can get an understanding of what we're actually doing, like speedrunners, when we try to short charge. So if we're gonna do frame by frame, <clears throat> um, I'm gonna hold forward. And you're gonna see Samus light up. So on the frame coming up, this frame right here, that is the frame that the game checks to make sure that you're holding run in order for blue suit to activate. So because the game does that, what we do as speedrunner, speedrunners is we exploit this frame by only tapping run on these certain frames. So, um, so if I were to do this, and only tap it on those frames, you'll be able to see, give or take a couple frames. It's not gonna be perfect because it's kind of weird how it can work. Yeah, hold on. The frame by frame can be kind of weird. So that's one frame, one tap, two tap, three tap, and then here's the fourth one coming up. And we already got it. So. We're only moving that fast and we're blue. Isn't that weird? So that's how it works. So as I was saying, it only checks those frames and we can get a short charge super fast as opposed to normally right around here as you can get it. Um, you know, you can get it around here. You can even get it sooner if you're a little more precise, somewhere around here. So, um, so what we do is you don't have to worry about the taps yet, or the um, you don't have to worry about the stutter. You'll see speedrunners do this. All that's doing is putting our back foot, the 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 frame that works that the game checks. Um, it's basically just like advancing that frame to come quicker. So it's like putting her back foot, the magic frame here instead of like right here. So it, it's just to like optimize. Um, it's kind of an advanced strat, but you can learn it. One good way to practice a stutter if you want is just do this over and over until it looks like Samus is running. You don't want it to look like this. You want it to be like good, smooth, consistent. Um, hey, thanks for the 51. But for this tutorial, all we're gonna do is, I'm gonna give you four steps on how to get good at short charging. Step number one is just one tap, okay? So if we can get short charge right here-ish, then just do a one tap. The first tap is gonna be about right here, about right here. Just press forward, don't stutter, and then tap. And look, wow, we can get it right here instead of right here-ish. So one tap, you're already, you're already a master, almost, with a one tap short charge because you're, you're saving that much distance by not holding run. 
So that's just a one tap. Move forward like a block, press run and hold it. Uh, this is just the run button. B is my run button if you look at the top left. So once you get that down, let me let me um, let me show you. Let me get the info hood up again real quick, and then save. So yeah, the, the first tap is about right here. Okay, so the second tap. So what you're gonna do then, if since you're holding it there, you're gonna let go. So you're only gonna tap it. Tap. Tap. You're just gonna tap it for the second. If we're gonna do two taps now. So if you're gonna do two taps, you're gonna press it right there, let go, and then press it about right there. Wow, look how much shorter that is. Instead of here, it's right here. And then you can just keep practicing that. Two tap. One, two. Bam. So, you just keep doing a two tap. One, two. So just keep practicing that, kind of get an understanding um, of how the two tap works. So, so far, this is no tap around right here. This is a one tap and about here ish is a two tap. So now a three tap. Okay. So the first two taps, one, two. So about one right here, one right here. The third tap, listen, let me slow the game down. Is going to be about right at the end of this platform here. So tap, tap, tap. It can be a little bit better than that. Tap, tap, tap. So about right here. That's pretty good. So that's a three tap as opposed to the two tap, which is right here. So three tap, two tap, one tap. So tap, tap, tap. The thing is you have to realize too, so it gets it gets faster. So let, let me let me finish this tutorial and then I'll show you what my brain does when I'm short charging. Um, okay, so you got the three tap down. Tap tap tap. That's what I tell myself in my head. Tap tap tap. Okay, that was that was off. Tap tap tap. Bam! Right there. Okay. So you've practiced all this. You're super good at it, but your short charging just isn't good enough. Well, there's one more thing you can do. Like how I said, there's four taps. You can do a four tap, but since Samus's legs are moving faster after already the third tap, it needs to be much faster. So the cadence or the 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 uh, beat is gonna be like tap 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 tap. So like tap 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 tap. So tap 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 tap. Hold on, let me. I'm used to stuttering, so tap 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 tap. So you can get it right here instead of right here ish with a four tap. So it's kind of, you have to get it in your brain. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, so let's say the four tap isn't even enough. Okay, so you need a shorter distance. You need like this right here. Like I said before, you can stutter. So instead of having the, let me, let me show you with a slow down version. Um, instead of pressing, um, run right on that frame. Hold on, let me, let me frame advance it for you. So instead of pressing run on this right there, see where Samus is in correlation with the background and her foot's kind of above that crack. Instead of pressing run right there, you can press run um, right right there as a little bit before actually this is this is a little bit late but you can press it right there instead of right here see see how big of a difference that already is that's huge so pressing it right here instead of right here so the difference is your, your timing is going to be off your timing is going to be different so you're going to stutter so what i like to do is I have a certain way that I like to stutter, just like that. Um, forward, forward, let go forward. Um, so it's going to be for me, it's right after I let go of my, of that, 
if you're watching the top left of the screen, you can see my inputs. Right after I let go, or right after my second right tap, which is right, right there. I mean, it's already on it. Perfect. So I, I paused it where I'd normally tap. So it's right after I go forward, let go forward B. It's almost instantly. It's like a, a flam. I've used this before in the past. It's like a quick succession, like tap, like a tap, 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 tap kind of like that instead of uh, both at the same time. Um, so that'll be my first B input. So then you can do this. Once you get good at the stutter, you can press, you can just do a one tap. And a one tap will get you right here instead of right here. So that's already, a, that's already way better. So with the stutter one tap, it's right here instead of just normal one tap, which is right here. So that's, that's pretty damn good. You're already getting way better. So then the same logic applies. You then apply what you've already learned without the stutters with your stutters. So tap, tap. Oh, you did a two tap. It's right there. Perfect. Tap, tap, tap. Or it, it's got, it's the same rhythm too. You're just incorporating the tap and the first tap is going to be different, but it's still like tap, 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 tap. It's just, you're starting the first tap at a different time. So, so that's a four tap, you know? So yeah, basically that's pretty much, pretty much it. You can get it right here. Um, I'd say the goal is if you start doing this is just get further and further. And that's why I like to use this room is because there's markers or like this, the middle of this post, this post, uh, these posts, um, these lights. The goal for you is just try to get it better and closer, closer to this post, which is the, um, if you're counting them, it's the third black bar on the back past the first light. So try to, try to do that. Um, like even that could be a pass. That's a three tap stutter. Um, but yeah, try to get closer and closer to this mark, which is really hard, but, and then you can, if you're good, you can do it before then, you know, that's pretty much hitting the border. You can get it like right there. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's kind of cutting it close to where the limit is. You could probably, I think you can do it like right here with some really, really precise taps, but yeah. All right. So a, a little fun thing too. If you're really good real quick, go to the ship and you're like, oh man, I'm so good at short charging now. Go to the ship, land as far off it as you can, and then try to short charge on the ship. Just like that. This is a really difficult short charge. But if you can do that, you can do any short charge that is necessary in the game. Like this is way, this is way beyond anything that you need is the, sh the ship short charge. If you can do this, you can do anything. But this is like pretty advanced. I'd say like not even, even like some really good runners probably can't even do that, but Anyways, that is how you short charge. You can do anything, kids. Just take this rock, and heat it up. Is there a faster short charge if you alternate right tabs and run tabs? Um, the fastest short charge, here, let me, let me show you real quick. So this is what you can do if you're a god. AKA if you're TAS. So this is how short you can actually get it. So that small of a distance. So you can do some really crazy shit with like frame by frame. Do doors mess up the timing? No, nope. it's always the same timing. It'll just mess up your internal timing. You know, it's like you have to prepare for the difference.